The window throw feature in Rectangle Pro gives you unmatched speed and flexibility for moving and resizing windows, and it's surprisingly simple to get the hang of. Place your cursor anywhere over a window that you want to adjust and hold the window throw modifier keys. You'll see a red dot appear at your initial cursor position. Move the cursor in a direction to show a potential snap area. As you move the cursor, the snap area is determined by where your cursor is relative to the dot. There are eight different window sizes and positions, like what you'd see on a compass rose. You can move the cursor back to the dot to cancel. Release the modifier keys when you're at the size and position you want, and the window will snap into place. You can also configure a physical mouse button to trigger it. Or you can use a trackpad gesture. The trackpad gesture can take a little bit to get the hang of, but it doesn't conflict with any built-in gestures, and it's typically difficult to accidentally trigger. I personally set this to rest 4. First, rest 4 touches. When you remove 3, make sure to leave 1 on without removing it. Now move the one remaining touch to move the cursor, and remove that touch to snap. The long throw is an additional set of 8 window actions, and those are triggered when you move the cursor a little farther from the dot. That distance is configurable. The other configurations on this tab are move and resize. Hold the modifiers to move or resize the window under the cursor. While moving a window, you can move the cursor to the screen edge to trigger snap areas. Windows will pause when they hit the edge of another window. When resizing a window, adjacent windows can be resized. If you like the window throw, then you might also like Charmstone. Charmstone uses the same underlying mechanic as the window throw, but lets you use spatial memory to quickly switch to the right app. Thanks for watching.